What is up YouTube? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to Today I'm going to show you how to tattoo color on fake skin. Uh, there's been plenty of people in the comments asking how you do it because it can be really frustrating whenever you are first starting out with saturation, things like that. So I'm going to break down in this video how to tattoo fake skins with colored ink. If you're new to this channel, I'm Brandon from Tattooing 101, and make sure you're liking and subscribing down below so you can keep up to date on the content we make each week. Now before we get started, I wanted to recommend a couple inks out there. If you're practicing on inks you got in a tattoo kit, something like that, more than likely you're going to have issues with saturation and being able to go into the skin correctly just because some of that stuff is trash, it's like watered down, um, it's not meant to use on human skin at all and I wouldn't even recommend trying to tattoo with it on fake skin. So some inks out there I recommend would be Solid, Eternal, Fusion, um, some people use Intense, something like that, stay away from like Moms or off-brand inks. Try not to buy any ink on Amazon because, you know, it could lead to infections if you are tattooing humans, things like that. So go from reputable brands um, and that'll help you a lot be able to see if it's something you're doing wrong or it could be just the fake off-brand ink that you're using in a tattoo process. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get into how to tattoo fake skins with colored ink. All right, let's get into how to tattoo color on fake skin. So obviously this is the outline of what we're going to do. Our colors are going to be red, green, yellow. I'm going to keep it simple for this one so you can kind of like see the basics and just get comfortable with color. Obviously in order to do color, you want to make sure you have perfect line work and be able to shade. So I'm going to show you the shading process first. So before you jump onto color, you need to make sure that you're doing the shading in every area that you need to in order to make the tattoo hold up through time. So obviously on fake skins, it's not detrimental, but on actual human skin, if you don't put the black in there or the shading, when the color fades, you're not going to be able to tell what the design is at all because it has no structure. So we're going to go through and do all our black shading that will eventually go over with color. I'm just going to go through here and just whip shade out a couple of the areas. One thing that helps out a ton would be pre-draw these designs. So if you have a design in mind, make sure you print it out and color it. You know, use colored pencils, markers, whatever you have available so you know exactly where all the shading needs to go. Eventually you won't need to do this step. It's just something that'll help you out if you are first starting out and help you have, you know, a little bit of confidence going into the tattoo. So what is the biggest issue you have with color? What's the hardest thing? Is it like saturation or not knowing what kind of order to do your colors? Um, just comment down below. I'd like to see what issues you're having the most and I'll make sure I get back with you. Okay, one thing you want to keep in mind is you always want to do your darkest colors first. So what I mean by that, if I jumped right onto the yellow right now and did all the yellow and tried to go back with my red, what's going to happen is the yellow is going to mix with the red and it's just going to muddy up. It's going to turn like this ugly brown color. So you want to make sure that you are doing everything in the appropriate steps. So obviously I have my inks set up for that. I'm going to go to my red, then my green, and then finish off with yellow. So one thing I'm going to show you right here is how to get smooth transitions. So I'm going to start an area right here with shading. So our goal is to start out with black, which I'm doing right here, and then get your whip shading out enough that you could go back with color and be able to get the black into the red into the actual skin tone of the fake skins. So that is the goal. So you start out with your black shading, then you're going to dip it in the water, your actual cartridge, not the whole way, just the tip. And that way it'll kind of clean it out enough that you could go in there and just wipe it briefly with a paper towel. And that way you're not dipping straight in to the red with the black because it'll make it a really dark, dark color and you don't want that. Now we could dip into our red and we're just going to go over this shading that we did trying to get a smooth transition. I'm just going to do a pendulum motion right like this. And then whip shade out the red. So that's the practice you go on to practice doing right there is just getting a transition from your blacks into your reds into the skin tone underneath. And that just comes with getting comfortable with, you know, the techniques of shading um, and all of that. So now we'll get into actually coloring in the design. 
So some of these areas I'm going to work on like a whip shading method, some I'm going to do more of a pendulum method like I just showed you. So right here I'm just going to whip out a little bit. What you want to focus on is getting everything saturated the first time exactly how you want it so you don't have to go back in and really overwork the area. So you can see that once I'm over an area, you know, I pretty much have it completely done. Sometimes you have to go back and, you know, make a couple areas a little bit darker or, you know, feather out a couple areas, but you don't want to be like, you know, solid packing an area and look at it and nothing be there because you just overworked the whole area for pretty much no reason. That's why fake skins are so great when it comes to this because obviously, you know, I could sit here and just you know, go over this thousands of times and it's not going to scream or yell at me. So it's great to practice on. You can see right there I'm getting some transitions with the actual red without any black. So what I'm doing is just doing the pendulum technique, just very lightly going into the skin. I'm not pressing, you know, I'm not doing a whip shading technique when it comes to this. We're just going through here and doing all of our red. Making sure we do all of the red right now because you don't want to have to go back. You know, if you went through all your colors and forgot an area, you're risking, you know, muddying up all your lighter colors. So making sure you're doing everything you need to before going on to the next color. When you're first starting out practicing with colors, I highly recommend that you work on smaller designs, just like this. You know, it's not super big, so you could really focus on the areas that you need to get into and also get more mag control because it is smaller, you know, holding your mag in different areas to get into those small areas will help you out for, you know, the future tattoos that you do. Okay, now we're just going to start at the top and whip shade down some red because the rest of this is going to be yellow. We don't want to do a ton of red, there's already, you know, quite a bit of red in this piece, so just a little bit on the tops just to show some different colors. Right like that. Now obviously we're going to clean this up so we can clearly see what we're doing. And there we have our red complete. Now we could dip into our water again, making sure all the red is out of our cartridge and going into our green. So now we're going to take that black that we put in there and just whip shade out our green. And what we're doing is just kind of making transitions. You don't want to block this in completely or it'll really stand out. So you still want skin tone in this as well. And if you do the lighting right, you could really get quite a few different tones just with one color, just by having the needles go in in different areas. So what I mean by that is kind of how the whip shading method is. So you have really dark and then the further the needles get apart from each other, the lighter the area is. So you could do that with color as well. And if this is taking you a little bit longer, you know, don't worry about it. I do a ton of color tattoos, so it just comes naturally to me. And I've also been doing this quite a long time. So this is something that does take some time to kind of pick up and practice makes perfect. So even if you have to work on the same design, you know, just focusing on just this design and doing it as many times as it needs in order to, for you to get comfortable doing the actual color in it, 
I highly recommend going that way. Instead of trying to focus on doing you know six different designs, focusing on one will help you out a ton faster than trying to learn something new every single time. All right, now we'll get into our yellow. So what I'm gonna show you here is how to mix the colors in the actual tube. Instead of mixing the colors in a cap up there, I'm going to mix it in my tube. So I'm gonna start out with my yellow. And the reason I'm starting out with yellow is because if I mix my tube, I don't wanna muddy up my yellow to the point that it messes up the bottom. So, also make sure you're using Vaseline to keep the area clean, because if you have black ink on one side and you wipe over this yellow, it's gonna muddy it up, even if you're not tattooing into it. Cool, so we have our yellow in there. I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow on some of these areas too, just to show a little light source coming down on the actual heart, right like that. Almost like it's glowing a little bit. Cool, right like that. And now what we're gonna do is dip in our yellow, right like that, dip in our red. And what does red and yellow make? Orange, obviously. So now we have orange in the actual tube. And we could just go through and whip shade some orange to get a different transition of color in there. Now we're not going very far down there because it's going to muddy up that yellow. So just getting transitions from our red into our orange, into our yellow. And this is what you're going to want to do. Grab some Vaseline, and when you wipe, just wipe up, and it won't muddy up that yellow on the bottom, right like that. This is the area that, you know, if you're looking at your tattoo, you can pull out a pencil or a pen and paper and write down what you want to improve on next time. And if you want, you could even comment down below so I could check them out. What is your improvement for next time? If you are tattooing, or even if you did a tattoo in the past and you're remembering, what can you improve on? Just comment down below and I will check them out. So this is the final design and this is how I do tattooing color onto fake skins. This is also how I do on real life tattoos. So I hope this was able to help you out. If it was, make sure you like and subscribe down below so you can keep up to date on all the new content I come out with each week. And you guys have a wonderful day.